Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forever Motorsports here. You're joined by myself, Mark, and uh, my very, very good friend, Gio Reese, who is, of course, going to be reviewing the sprint shootout that we've just had. The big news of the day, McLaren 1-2. Reese, what an incredible little piece of uh, driving from the two. Yes, a phenomenal end to the session here in uh, Qatar, almost said Bahrain. Uh, but as I said, a phenomenal end to the session. It was really exciting at the end uh, with Max Verstappen having his first lap time deleted in that final shootout session. And then Piastri just pulling it out of the bag at the end. Lando Norris was on a faster lap, but he lost it in the final sector. So it went to Piastri and Piastri takes pole. To take you through our top 10, Oscar Piastri finishes in P1 with a 124.4. Lando Norris in P2 with a 124.5. And Verstappen in P3 with a 124.6. So very close between that top three. Then through the rest of the top 10, Russell in fourth. Carlos Sainz in fifth. Leclerc sixth. Hulkenberg seventh. Perez eighth. Alonso ninth. Ocon tenth. And then, of course, we move into our bottom 10. Now, notably from Q1 and Q2, we saw a big name drop out in Q2, or rather, spin shootout 2, whatever you want to call it. That is, of course, Lewis Hamilton, who you've not heard until now. Uh, he starts the race in 12th, while well, the sprint shoot, uh, the sprint in 12th, of course. Gasly starts in 11th, then Bottas 13th, Lawson 14th, Joe 15th, Stroll in 16th, Albon 17th, Sonoda 18th, Magnussen 19th, and 20th, as per usual. Logan Sargent. Yes, uh, Logan Sargent had a, a relatively good day today. Uh, Logan Sargent? Starting in 20th, yes, for the sprint. Of oh, sorry, not Logan, not, I'm thinking of Liam Lawson. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Liam Lawson had a relatively good day today, getting ahead of his teammate Yuki Tsunoda, who qualifies down on 18th. A little bit of a, a mix-up between the names. They both start with an L. That's yes. why. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, he had a really good day out there, finishing up in P14. Unfortunately, he could have finished a little bit higher, but his final lap time was deleted in shootout 2. But... Still a good position for him to start the race, uh, or at least the sprint race in later this afternoon. Yeah, of course, only the top eight get points there, so he's going to really struggle to get points in such a short race. But nonetheless, a good start for him. He also outperforms a teammate again, uh, Yuki Tsunoda starting down in 18th position. But Lance Joel, after not making out of Q1 yesterday, didn't make it out of sprint shootout one either today. All the way down in 16th, and he would have been 17th had a couple of lap times not been deleted for track limits. So, very, very concerning for Lance Stroll and Aston Martin. I think that's been the big talk of the weekend. What's going to happen with him? Is this the breaking point for his Formula 1 career? Of course, well, yesterday we saw a very angry man. I think he must be angry now today as well. I certainly think publicly he has lost a lot of credibility in the Formula 1 paddock. Uh, social media has been set ablaze in the past couple of, of hours because of the way that he acted yesterday in, in qualifying and the way that he shoved his engineer out the way or his uh, trainer out the way. It's not what we want to see. He's not necessarily a very good representative for Formula 1 drivers anymore. And I think possibly there's going to be a lot of push maybe from, from other people back in Aston Martin as well as sponsors because at the end of the day, he's also representing them and they don't want to be represented by somebody like that. No, not at all. And meanwhile, his teammate, I've just got the news now, has had his track, his lap time deleted. Oh, no. So, so Alonso will no nine. longer start in fifth. He will start in ninth. So it's just run through then. Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc will start in fifth and sixth. Russell in fourth now as a result of Alonso uh, getting his lap time deleted. Very unfortunate for the other Aston Martin driver, but he still significantly outperforms his teammate uh, who's down in 16th. Russell also, to be fair, outperforming uh, Hamilton quite, quite a bit. Russell up in fourth. Hamilton down in 12th. Do we think McLaren can hold on to one and two later for the sprint shootout? Well, I, I, I would hope so because it would make a really exciting sprint shootout uh, ahead of us. But I don't know. Max Verstappen is really hungry to take that championship here today. And I, I think you're going to have to be a force to take that away from him. Yeah, that's exactly that. And of course, we're going to be watching that with all eyes uh, very much set on the screens as Max Verstappen can potentially win the Drivers' Championship for 2023 in today's sprint shootout. It all comes down to his teammate as well, how he does. Sergio Perez starts in 8th. That is, of course, the last points position in the sprint. So be sure to join us on the channel. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. And we'll see you later for that sprint. And uh, you'll be dragged onto the next stream right now. But thank you guys so much for watching Forever Motorsports. Cheerio.